What's up guys, my name is Andy. In this video, my 68 F100 has a leaky radiator. I bought it that way, I knew I was gonna have to replace it, so this is one of the first things I need to get done on this truck. I like these kinds of uh, swaps or upgrades because I think it's what, there's only four bolts that hold this in place and two hoses and you're done. So let's get after it. I did want to point out on my radiator, it arrived, this was all bent and I was trying to bend it back and I don't know, I might have made it worse trying to bend this to a way so it was round again or somewhat round, but hopefully this won't be a problem for me, but uh, we'll see when we uh, get this thing filled up with coolant. And the first thing you want to do when we swap out this radiator is drain all the coolant, but because mine has a leak in it, when you open up this valve to let all the coolant out, there's just nothing in here. There may be something residual coolant on the bottom of the radiator, but it's empty, so we can go ahead and skip that step, but for you guys, make sure you drain all that first, and then if you take the cap off, uh, it will help drain a little faster. So the next thing I wanna go after is the hose clamps on the upper and lower radiator hose. We'll just go ahead and get those detached from the radiator before we take this thing out. Now, depending on the age of your hose, it might be on there pretty good. So if we just take some channel locks and just kind of twist it back and forth, it'll kind of break it free. Kind of pry this hose. Now I got new hoses, so it's okay if we end up tearing or needing to cut these hoses to get them off the radiator. There we go. That guy's out of there. We'll do the same thing for the lower radiator hose. Just get these clamps loosened up. And a little bit dripping out of the bottom. And it's like I said, there's probably some residual coolant in the bottom of this radiator. And we'll just let that drain for a minute. Now we just have the two half inch bolts on this side and half inch on the other side. We take those out. Ooh, that was in there. Oh, of course, that one's got a nut on the front. Awesome. Just take a wrench on the other side. And we'll do the same thing on the passenger side. And when you take this last screw out, be careful because the radiator is going to want to drop a little bit. All right, now we should be able to pull this guy out of here. And you can see that there was this kind of this <laughs> radiator mesh protector just to keep the bugs and ick and stuff off of the radiator. We can get this out of the way for sure. Throw that away. For the most part, everything looks pretty good. Uh, we'll just go through. I'm just going to take a brush and just kind of get all the dirt and grime and stuff off of here and clean up these needles and stuff like that. But really everything's ready to go. Everything's prepped here. On the front, I guess you could clean up the, the core support here if you wanted to, but uh, I'm going to be fine for now. And I don't have to do anything with the fan. We can stay there with that. I do need to finish getting the, the two hoses off here, so we'll get those off and get the new ones installed. Again, I'm not going to save these hoses, so I can destroy them getting them off of here. These things are pretty toast anyways. But I am going to save the hose clamps. Ooh, there we go. Now's a good time to replace the thermostat while you're here, but I didn't even think about it till just now. Taking this off and getting a gasket for that, I don't, 
I'm not in a position to do that right now, so I'm gonna have to come back to that. Fingers crossed that the thermostat's good, but uh, let's get this cleaned out of here. Wouldn't hurt to take a little bit of sandpaper to this, get this cleaned up a little bit, then we can put the new hoses on. Alrighty. On with the new, all right? All right, let's get this lower hose on. All right, now I think we can slide in the new guy here. Hopefully everything fits like we want it to. <laughs> I guess we'll find out here in a second. All right. Here's attempt number two. I, uh, I forgot, I wanted to swap out the Petcock valve on here. This is what was in there, this little plastic thing, and I like this style better. Uh, you don't, this one, the plug, if you unscrew too much, it can come all the way out, where this one is threaded in and then this piece screws, and it's, it's just better. So I wanted to swap that out, and then I wanted to add the drain hose, the overflow hose on here from the other radiator. So now we got everything in place. I'm going to put this top screw in just to hold this in place. There we go. And we'll do the same thing on the other side of the radiator. All right, I just got done securing the radiator down to the core support and noticed this hose isn't going to reach. It's not long enough. Uh, and there's no more stretch in that. Uh, and this, this is a two, I believe it's a two inch down here. And it's one and three quarter inches up here. Well, this thing... That's hot dog in a hallway. That's not gonna work. Uh, you even notice how it kind of flares right here. I wonder if this should have been the bottom hose, but then that one doesn't fit because that one's too large for this piece. So I might have to go to the store real quick and get another hose. And I even tried bringing this hose because it's got the larger flared in on there. Even if I have to cut it a little bit shorter because it doesn't fit kind of this way, that in there is one and three quarters and the end of that water pump is one and, or is two inches. So. I've got two hoses that uh, are not gonna work. That's awesome. Uh, okay. There we go, all right. Got the new hose on the top here. And while I was out getting these hoses, I got a new light for the engine bay, but this, this is much brighter, much better. Okay, let's do the lower hose. Now, because this lower coupling here for the radiator is damaged, I'm gonna put two hose clamps on there and cross my fingers that that does enough. So we'll see how that goes. Man, that's still not reaching. That is amazing. See, this is the old radiator hose. And it just... Hmm. Maybe it has... Maybe this radiator's thinner. And this port is actually farther... I don't remember how much space there was between the fan and the... Hmm. I might have to space the radiator towards... Like, put a spacer to move the radiator towards the engine no because then the air would get through the side so that's not going to work no i was able to get it i had to hook up this end first and kind of stretch it up this way and so i think we're going to be okay it's it'll work i just don't want it to collapse on itself but uh cool all right now it's time to put some coolant in and see if this is going to leak so the first part I'm, i've got just straight coolant so i'll have to do one of these coolant one water and back and forth to get the 50 50 mix but the big thing is, is i want to test to see We've got any leaks. So, here we go. Guess we should put the bucket underneath the truck just in case. Cool, well this will take a minute. Let's get through that and then I'll come back. All right guys, now I'm at the point where I've got two gallons of the coolant and two gallons of water. So we're at four gallons, right? And the it's sitting right here, so it's full. But I know that when you turn the motor, motor over, I'll get some air bubbles out. Uh, so I gotta do that still, but I gotta do a couple things before I turn this over. I know I've already started the engine in another video, but I gotta do a couple things before I can fire this back up again. Um, I'm kinda gonna have to stop right here in this spot and, and then pick it up later. But anyways, cool, so we got the new radiator in and so far nothing's leaking. There's nothing sweat, there's nothing weeping out of anything. Um, yay, <laughs> I like it when parts work uh, like they're supposed to. So anyways, all right guys, that's it. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. 
And if you subscribe, I appreciate it because it helps my channel out. And we'll see you in the next one.